Hey everyone, I'm Jason and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do the software update onto your IP150. So as all of you guys know, Paradox did do an update onto their uh, Inside Gold app and a lot of them and a lot of you guys ain't getting the notifications anymore and this is because of your firmware that you have onto your IP150. So what we're going to do is I will, so I'm going to open up the infield software. I will put this on my website. Okay, so we're going to open it up. This is it right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to static IP. We're going to click on it. And now we're going to click on right here. And it's going to scan and pick up your network. So once it picks it up, all you have to do is press OK. For password, do not touch this. This is default. Leave it as is. And now we're going to go to connect. And now it's going to be scanning your system and it's going to be locating it and it's going to pick it up. OK, so this part here is very important. So here, this is the default passwords your PC password and your panel ID password. The default is four zeros. I know the system I'm working on right now, it's not default. It has been changed, which I do have the code. If you get, if the four zeros does not work for you, you will have to call your provider, your installer for this code, or you're going to have to call him and actually ask him to come in and do the software update for you guys. So I'm just going to enter my code. So once you have the code put in, just hit login. In your case, if you try the four zeros, you're going to get a prompt right away saying this is not the proper code or invalid code. Okay, so over here, this part here, I have the evil HD panel here. So this is the evil HD panel. If you want to do a software update here, right now I got seven. I know there's, there is a higher one, but in today's video, I'm not updating my alarm panel. I'll do another video on that. If you guys want me to show you how to do a firmware update on the alarm panel, please let me know and I'll do a video on it because it, it, there is a few different steps to do a software update or firmware update onto the alarm panel. We're going to do it on the IP150. So you go over here, click on it. At the bottom here, it's going to scan. One thing to keep in mind is when you go, when you look down here at the bottom, what I like to do is whatever one says the latest, is what I like to choose to do the update. If you hit the drop down, it does give you more options here. But I do recommend always doing the latest. The reason why is some of these in the drop down might not be compatible with your IP150 because there is three types of IP150. There's the IP150S, the IP150, and the IP150+. Plus. So if you're not sure what version you have, just hit the latest. It will automatically guarantee you giving you the latest version for the one that you have. So right now I got version 4.42. So but today's video, I'm going to do the latest one. Just so you guys know, what's really important is the bootstrap. So this part right here is really important. You cannot upgrade to the latest version if you do not have a 2.13 or 2.14 a bootloader. If your bootloader is below 2.13, so if you have the 2.12, you cannot update it to the latest version you will brick your IP150. 
there is a totally different step in order to upgrade it from your version to the latest version. Once again, comment below. If you need me to make a video on it, I will give you some steps on how to update it to the latest version. So in my case right now, if yours is like mine, don't worry about this, the firmware version. It could be a 4.0, uh, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the 4 and 2.13 or 2.14 bootloader, you're fine. So all you gotta do is click on here, automatically it picks it up for me, and now you just hit start upgrade. And now the upgrade is gonna start. This usually doesn't take that long. I know the older boot, the bootloader, it does take a bit longer because there's a few more steps. You actually have to upgrade slowly up to the latest version. You can't just skip. Um, in my, like my case right now, you just can't skip right to the latest one. It's just validating it. I'm just sitting this record in real time just so you guys see how long it takes to actually go through the whole step. There you go. Once you get this, it's all completed. So now we're going to hit OK and we're just going to confirm that it did do the update. Now it's redetecting my panel. And there you go. So we got 150 there. So if you look up here, so this is the latest version that this IP150 will accept. There you guys have it. So now I got the latest version of the IP150 firmware. So guys, if you have any questions, give me a comment below. Hit those thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And once again, thanks for watching.